This is the quick start help for defining a binding site in your protein. For this, you need to use the receptor wizard. Drag and drop your protein file into Leadit to start up the wizard. Alternatively, select the receptor wizard icon on the toolbar. The wizard will take you through all the necessary steps. You can try this now, or stay with us for a full demo of how to define your binding site. You need to define a binding site if you want to carry out a docking calculation or assessment of a protein ligand complex with Hyde. This short film shows you how to complete the definition of a binding site using Leadit's receptor wizard. Open the receptor wizard using the icon on the toolbar. Step 1 or load step. Load a protein from a file in PDB or MALTU format, or directly from the PDB server, like this. Proceed to step 2 using the next button. Step 2 is the component step. At the top of the wizard, you can see your progress. We are currently in step 2 from 6 possible steps. Now choose the components of your protein that will make up the binding site, except for waters. They will be dealt with later. Do not choose a native ligand that lies in the binding site at this stage either, as it does not form part of the finished binding site at the end. Now click Next and move to Step 3. Step 3 is the binding site definition step. Here you define the position and size of the binding site. Now you can use a native ligand or reference ligand for this. Or you can define the center of a sphere. Adjust the size of the site like this. Finally, there is an option for fine-tuning the exact residues in the site here. Step 4 is the Resolve Ambiguity step. Leadit calculates the hydrogen bonding network in the site. In this step, you can manually adjust these protonation states or waters. See the fine tuning your binding site film for more details of how to do this. Here we'll take the defaults and proceed to step 5. Step 5 is the metal step. Leadit calculates coordination states and free sites for metal ions in the binding site. In this step, you have the opportunity to check the assigned coordinations. These look fine here. We'll move on to the final step. The final step is the finished step. Now you have the chance to check the binding site once more, give it a more descriptive name and confirm by clicking finish. But before we do, note that you can always go back in the wizard or jump to any previous step. If you make a change though, all following steps will be reset and you must proceed through them again. Beware that you cannot save your binding site definition during the wizard. You must always finish the wizard before you can save your changes. Let's do that now. You can use your finished binding site for docking, or hide, or recall. Later, you can always adjust your site by reopening the wizard. Remember though that changing the site will annul previous docking, hide, or recall results that depend on it. Why not go and try out the receptor wizard on your target protein?